Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, I want to talk about uh, how to create a website redesign at scale. Now, a lot of the times, uh, the traditional way that uh, most designers would approach a redesign, and that is actually the same approach that I would uh, been using for a very long time, is simply to go page by page and uh, redesign each and every page of the website. Maybe you're going to find a better visual design and set a different style guide before doing that. But essentially that what is my experience when it comes to redesigning most websites and what most companies expect you to do. However, recently I actually was working on a very large website redesign for a company that I'm working with and uh, essentially the way that we approach it is uh, something a little bit different. So what we did uh, is uh, we essentially went uh, through all of the links, uh, which uh, is uh, approximately like more than a hundred, I would say. And the way that we did uh, this redesign is by starting uh, to identify the components uh, in uh, the website, uh, which uh, are most commonly used. And we created our order of hierarchy. So here we have uh, an example, and uh, this is totally uh, unrelated to the actual redesign, but this uh, UI kit is going to serve as an example of what uh, I just mentioned so that it's easier to understand. This UI kit, by the way, is a C-Wire, really well done uh, UI kit. Uh, but just to get you an understanding of what this uh, process entails, is basically going through each and every page uh, and uh, as you're going to see, you're going to have some common patterns. For example, we're going to have the contact section in multiple pages, or even more uh, often than that, uh, maybe we're going to have uh, call to actions such as this one, or featured sections, which are going to express uh, and communicate some features about the product uh, in one way, shape or form. And essentially what we did is we took a high level view of the project and we went on and identified these sections and these components which are repeated through many pages in the website. And we list them all up in a format such as this one. So we would have, for example, identified the feature section and uh, out of all the pages in the website, these would be the URLs in which uh, this uh, feature section with a very similar layout would appear in the website. And uh, this would be true also for uh, another component such as the call to action section. So in this case, we identified it only in six uh, links uh, in the website, so six pages in the website. And by doing this uh, with uh, many components, uh, we have uh, a bird's eye uh, view of where we should focus uh, most of our effort and basically understand uh, that, uh, for example, if uh, the feature section is uh, present in many different pages, uh, compared to maybe another section which only is featured in two pages, maybe two minor pages. Of course, the most effort is going to be in the redesign and thinking and elaborating the feature section. And uh, by doing this before we redesign uh, the individual pages, we would come up uh, with uh, essentially a UI kit which uh, help us uh, to speed up the process so that when uh, we're creating the individual pages we would then have uh, these uh, UI kits almost that we could uh, le literally leverage to create uh, a page uh, in no time and knowing exactly where the focus was and uh, uh, essentially having a guideline which is uh, which has very strong foundations to build that uh, UI kit or style tiles, if you wish, for the website. So this would be an approach to take, I would say, for large projects. So think 100 pages or more, or even you know 50 pages, anything that really requires a lot of components and a lot of thinking at scale 
I would highly recommend you to consider this approach and uh, I uh, hope you, you enjoyed this video and uh, if you have uh, comments or opinions regarding this uh, or even suggestions as to how to improve uh, a workflow for a large redesign project, I'll be very curious to hear your thoughts uh, in the comment section. And again, there's nothing wrong with redesigning each and every page, especially if, if it's a, a smaller uh, website, maybe it's five to six pages, that would be totally fine. But just something to consider for the next time that you're tackling a project at scale. Hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the very next one.